Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. It has been quite the while, but I have oathed to finish this series this weekend. <laughs> so it's going to be pretty crazy and hopefully we'll see if, if it actually happens, but that's the goal. <laughs> this video, okay, so this video is going to be pretty simple. Uh, it's nothing too crazy. I just wanted to clarify something that uh, when I was a really beginner, uh, it confused me a little bit and I just want to make sure you guys got it before we proceed into new uh, concepts in programming. So the main thing I wanted to talk about is what is the difference between having two if statements versus having an if else statement. And the answer is really simple once you got it. So um, if you already know, sorry, you can, you can move on to the next video. <laughs> so the whole idea with an if statement is that if this condition is evaluated as true, the section inside of the curly braces is going to be executed. And when you have two if statements in a row, those are both going to be evaluated. So if we're going line by line, the first if statement's gonna be hit, and that's gonna be evaluated as either true or false. If it's true, we're gonna go into the code block. Then we go on to the next if statement, and that one is evaluated. And if that one's true, we go into the code block. So what that means is that when you have multiple if statements in a row, you have the potential that both of them are going to execute. This is different than how the if else works. So for example, if we replaced this if statement, if we replace this with an else statement, now only one or the other is going to execute. And the reason I bring this up, even though it's fairly simple to understand, is just so that you are clear when you're doing these conditions, if something is going to execute more than once or something that you're not going to want to evaluate. So for example, let's say we wanted to build an application that would tell you if you are an adult being over the age uh, or 18 or older, or if you were a senior being like 65 or older. If you're not careful in how you structure your if statements, you might have a little bit of an issue. And it also kind of depends on what you're trying to do in the application. So, what would our condition look, look, look like? Inside of our if, we would probably compare on age. So we could say if age is greater than 17. Or if it's clearer to you, you could say greater than or equal to 18. And then we could have something in here that says, hey, this person's an adult. And then if we had a second if statement where we have if age is greater than or equal to 65, well now this person is a senior. And the way this is structured is if somebody is a senior, both of these are going to be true, which is technically true because if you are 65, you are also over the age of 18. So the way you want your app to function depends on how you uh, do these if statements. If you want the 65 year old to also execute this line of code or this section of code and this section of code, then you would structure it like this. So for example, if you had an application where, uh, you know, it's, it's a game for, for kids. I don't know, this is a stupid example. <laughs> if it's a game for kids and if you're between the age of 13 and 17, you just get like the normal price uh, or you get like a, just a standard price. And then if you're 18 or older, you get maybe a, a discount. Okay, and then if you're 65, you get a senior discount, right? If you structured your code like this, this would be the adult discount. And this would be the senior discount. Uh, I could have just wrote discount, but yeah. So this is the adult discount and this is the senior discount. With this structure, if you're a senior, you're going to get both the adult discount and the senior discount. In some situations, this may work. It doesn't necessarily have to be with ages. It could be like membership status. So for example, there's a lot of uh, crowdfunding apps and what'll happen is you can do multiple tiers. So the first tier might be like, oh, a dollar a month. And if you get that, you get these rewards. And then if you do $3 a month, you get extra rewards plus all of the previous rewards. So the way you structure your if statements determines how your app works. If you want it to be one or the other, instead of using multiple if statements, you would use an else statement. So you could have an else, and actually in this situation, you would want this to be an else if, because if you just used an else, if someone was like six, 
they would also evaluate in the else statement. So we would have an else if, and it would be age greater than or equal to 65, and do this stuff. So very simple, um, very simple differences, but you just gotta really be careful when you're coding your app to make sure you're actually saying what you want the app to do. Because <laughs> coding, language do, coding languages don't have intuition, so what you code is what's actually gonna happen. <laughs> so yeah, very simple, but that's all I got for you guys in this video. Be sure to check out the next one because we're gonna go into some, some new stuff, specifically something known as a switch statement. So a switch statement is very similar to an if statement, but it allows you to code it a little bit differently. And sometimes it's more clear depending on the, uh, the application of, that you're working on if you wanna use an if or a switch. So please be sure to check that out and also apologize if this video was a little rough. <laughs> Getting it back into it for the day. So usually my first one takes a little bit of warming up. <laughs> All right, see you guys and thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe.